Hi everybody, welcome to the PHPCG presentation video. I will explain to you here what PHPCG is and show you what it can do for you. If you have a project that uses a MySQL database, you need an admin panel accessible online to manage your data, then you are at the right place. In this demo, we will use a very simple example. Let's imagine an online portfolio with a page presenting my projects, with a CV as well, and also with a customer testimonial page. In this video, we want to keep it simple, but we could also, for instance, manage an online shop or a restaurant or any kind of management tool with a complex relational database. So here's how our database looks like. A project table, CV, CV categories and testimonials, and I need to be able to connect to a secure space to add projects, modify my CV, etc, etc. So we'll see how to do this right now. But in the meantime, here's a preview of the result. And as you can see, it looks pretty great. But I want you to know that you don't need to have any programming knowledge. We'll just use a graphical user interface. So let's get started now. So first of all, I will go to the PHP Crew Generators website. Okay. And right here at the top, I can click on this button to buy a license. OK, we can click on this button now. And once that you've bought the license, you can now download the package. OK, on the website, a quick start guide is also available. And you can follow the instructions for the installation. And if you click on this link right here, you can even access to an installation screencast. OK. Now I've bought PHP CG, downloaded the unzipped package. Now I can upload the necessary directories on my server. Okay, drag and drop. Great. Now I open the installer in my browser. install. I follow the installation process. Okay, next. Production server. I enter the connection information to my database, my purchase code, my email. Next. Okay, last step. We're almost done. Next. Installation is OK. So let's open the crew generator now. We can see our tables right here. And we will first choose the projects table. Submit. OK. Here we have the database relationships. OK. And I want to create a paginated list. Then I can customize the names of the fields that will be displayed in the admin. I will add filters which will allow me to search for records. I don't want to show the ID in my data table. This field is an image. I will set the images path. 
I want to create automatic thumbnails. I'll activate the title editing in place and number of sorting. Enable editing in place again and submit. Okay. And right now what's about to happen is a kind of magical thing. I enter the admin panel, my list of projects has been generated. I can edit my titles in place. Okay. Change the title. Okay. Boolean values are displayed with nice icons. Okay, I can edit them too. I can even filter my records as expected. Works great. No filter. Perfect. Is it? Perfect. So let's now continue and create the admin panel forms. Okay, so create edit forms. So basically, as previously, I go through the options and configure my fields. Image editor, yes. Let's say 800 and 600. Okay. I will add a help text to indicate the expected dimensions of the uploaded images. I'd like to use a text area with a rich text editor. Okay. Okay. So let's submit. Okay. Great. Let's check it out now. Okay. We can edit. Looks like the add button is there as well. So let's try to edit one of them. Okay. Seems like we have what was expected. Let's try to change the title my new title. So the rich text editor is also there as expected. Let's publish it and submit. Okay, it works fine. Okay, finally, I'll open the generator again. And this time we will build the deletion form. So the title field will be the field to confirm deletion. Let's submit. Okay, great. Let's check it now. Okay, we can click on the button right here. Okay, it seems to work. Let's cancel it. Okay, so now I would like to check my public website. So let's go on my public website. Let's open it. Just in a new tab. Okay, we click on projects. And we would like to check my new title. Perfect. Okay. Now let's try to edit it. And this time we will try to upload a new project image to test it. Okay. Images. Let's choose this one. Here we go. Submit. Mm, seems to work. Refresh. And life is beautiful, isn't it? Okay, to recap, I think you have now understood how PHP Crew Generator works. First, choose a table. Secondly, create the admin panel read list. And then, thirdly, create the admin panel forms. That's all. You can then browse your data, add, edit, and delete records. Now, I'll just add my CV and the testimonials to the admin panel and everything will be ready. So let's start. Let's choose the CV table. Submit. Oop. 
of no. Okay. Let's maybe add some filters. Let's say date start. And then another one. Maybe the title. Okay. So the CV categories ID is a foreign key. And then I can actually choose to display any value from the relational table. This is an input text. This one a date. That one a date as well. Okay, I think I'll show the description in a nested table. Submit. And great. Let's check it out right now. Refresh. Okay, we see the CV table. Let's click. Okay, looks great. A date picture is even available in live edit mode. And right here, we have as well our nested table with the description. Everything looks perfect. So let's now go to generate our create update forms. Same thing. Okay. Submit. Okay, great. Now let's go for the delete form. Let's say title. Submit. Okay, let's check it out. Edit. Okay, everything looks perfect. We even have our take picture right here. Let's cancel. Okay, now let's go for the testimonials. Submit. Okay, basically the same thing. We will have to fill the informations. No. Mm, let's edit this label. Okay. Okay, do not show in the list. Uh, this is an image, of course, for the photo. Okay, so we put the path assets IMG. Same thing here. Okay, no, submit. Okay, let's check it out. Refresh, testimonials, and everything looks great. So let's go now to generate our create and update forms. Same thing. Okay. Submit. Okay, great. Now let's go for the delete form. Mm, offer no let's put the date and then for the second one we'll put the offer okay submit let's check it out now as you can see if we refresh you have the edit the delete button let's delete it the two informations are there date name let's cancel you can edit and you can also add a new one let's add a new one okay let's choose the file for the photo. Okay. Then the author. Hold K. Mm, let's put a date. Okay. A good rating. And a description. Great. Amazing tool. Okay. Submit. Here we go, one record added. That's cool, let's check it. Testimonials, where is it? Here, or maybe next, 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 and here we go, there it is. All that you've seen in this video is actually a quick overview of all the features that PHP CG can provide a full documentation and many other tutorials 
are available on the website and on the PHP CG channel.